next thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make Roland's shell. And this is gonna be what it's gonna look like before we actually sew it down to have it on his body, okay? All right, let's get started. We do need our gray, dark gray yarn, our stitch marker, same size hook, size E hook, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is rather than doing a magic ring this time, we're gonna be doing a chain to start, all right? So leave yourself a bit of a tail here. To do a chain, you just wanna go ahead and wrap it around the once, going in on the back side, just pull, put that strand, that tail strand, through the loop that you're making on your fingers. Pull your fingers out and then just pull it, okay? And that creates a slip knot. All right, now put that slip knot on your hook and make sure that it's nice and tight around your hook. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to chain 16. So yarn over and pull through, that's one chain. And yarn over and pull through, there's two. Do that 16 for 16 chains. For this one, you will not need a stitch marker, so you can set that aside. Okay, so for the first round, you've done your chain 16. Now you're gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's your hook. That's considered the first chain from your hook into the second chain from your hook. You're gonna go in through the middle of the V to the back, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Going into the next one, into the center of the V, to the back, yarning over from the back, pull forward, yarn over, and pull through. And you're gonna do that all the way until you reach the other side, because you started in your second chain from your hook, rather than having 16 at the end, you're actually gonna have 15, because you skipped one, okay? Go ahead and do that now. All right, so I've just finished the first row, and as you can see, it's gonna start to curl, but as we work with it, it's going to stop curling, okay? So don't worry about that. So we've got 15 at the end, and rows two through five are going to be the same. So let me explain how that's gonna work. Now, you're gonna turn your work in chain one. Okay, now this last single crochet that you did on this prior round is what you're gonna work into, but you're only working in the back loop. So if you're looking at the V, the back loop is the one that's furthest from you. We're gonna be doing half double crochets across. So you're gonna yarn over, go into that back loop only, that's what BLO stands for, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, and then pull through all the loops on the hook. That's a half double crochet. We finished row two. As you can see, because we worked in the back loops, it's leaving that nice ridge there in the front, which is what's gonna give the shell that nice ridged look, okay? So that it looks like a proper roly-poly. All right, so now we're gonna flip it around and chain one, all right? And now we're gonna do the same thing. And this is what I meant by we're going to be repeating doing half double crochets across through row five. So go ahead and continue on until you get through row five with the half double crochets across and doing the chain one turns at either end. So once we've done the first five rows here and we just did half double crochets back and forth with the chain one turn on the ends, we're gonna go ahead and do some decreasing here so that the shell will have some shape. So first you need to do your chain one and turn as usual. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the pattern half double crochet and then half double crochet decrease across, okay? And we're still doing this in the back loops only. So first we're gonna do a half double crochet as usual in the back loop only. So go ahead and yarn over and then go into that back loop. Yarn over from the back, pull through, yarn over, pull through all the loops. Now we're gonna do our first decrease. You're gonna yarn over go into the first back loop, yarn over again and pull forward the loop. That should be three loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over again and go into the next back loop, yarn over, yarning over from the back and pulling forward. Now, as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Yarn over one last time and pull through all loops on your hook. Okay, and you might have to wiggle them a little bit to get them through, and that's a decrease. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do another half double crochet. Okay, just like so. 
and let's do another decrease. Yarn over, go in, grab the back loop only, yarn over from the back, pull forward, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, going into the next loop, back loop only, yarning over from the back, pulling forward, now we have five loops, yarn over one last time, and then go through all the loops on your hook, okay? So we're doing that same pattern all the way across, so I will meet you back at the end of this row. Okay, now that we've finished doing that row, and we're, we just finished row six, we're gonna do row seven. We're gonna go ahead and do a chain one and turn. Okay, and then on row seven, we're working now in the front loops only, and we're gonna just do five half double crochet decreases across. So we're just decreasing all the way across here. So again, we're gonna yarn over going into the front loop, which is the loop that's closest to you on that V that you're seeing there, okay? So we're gonna go yarn over, go into the front loop only, yarn over from the back, pull forward. Now yarn over again and go into the next one, front loop only, yarning over from the back, pulling forward. There's your five loops on your hook. Yarn over again and pull through all the loops on your hook to do your decrease. Do the same thing again all the way across. You, making sure that you're working in the front loops only. Okay, meet you back at the end of that. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and pull the loop a little bit here, give yourself some slack. Get your scissors, okay, leave a tail. Now bring that tail through the loop and pull tight. Grab your tapestry needle. You're gonna go ahead and put your tapestry needle on the end of that long tail that you've got there. Okay, now when you're looking at Roland, the part that we're gonna do here is we need to just stitch this side against this side, okay? All right, so you wanna make sure that you see all your front loops here, okay? That's the way, that's the right side of the work, all right? So go ahead and squish those two ends together so that you're lined up on the other side here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna whip stitch the two ends together. Going across and then bringing it back, just like you would attach parts together. But we're just gonna stitch that little tushy end up there. Okay, and now once that's stitched, you can go ahead and Put your thread back through on the underside. All right, and that is gonna be where the body will rest into. It kind of creates a nice little cup for the body to rest in, okay? All right, so that is finished. Go ahead and leave your tail attached because we'll use that later on when we're sewing this part down to his little body right there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks guys.